Hi guys, so today we're going to be skimming this wall and we're going to be having a go at the speed skim that I just bought last week. So I've already PVA'd the walls and it's just about tacky, well just about like setting to tacky. I've got a bead to put on there in a minute. But yeah, we're, uh, we're going to try out the speed skim. So this is what I've uh, been skimming this week. Getting these walls done and having a practice with it. I haven't done that ceiling yet. This is it. This is the one that I've bought, it's the 900mm Ox Speed Skib and uh, I've been getting on pretty well with it, I would say, this week. Um, I've been enjoying it. Right, let's crack on. So I've just got it on, first coat. You can see that lines in it that I haven't bothered smoothing out yet. I've just got it on this mate. So I prefer to use speed, speed skim straight away while it's still wet. And just knock it flat. So we're going to have a go at knocking it flat. We'll see if we can get these uh, big lines out. You see all yeah. Just give it a wet. That's how quick it is, flat enough. So, it's pretty good, I'm enjoying it. Right, we'll uh, give it a bit, we'll get a second coat on, and we'll flatten again. Right, time for the second coat.
That's it, that's all you get off it as well, so I'm not going to take any off. I'll just show you a close-up. I'll try and look down at it. It has got, you can't see it on camera, but it has got some faint lines, really faint ones. I mean, to be fair, you could probably leave it like and give it a rub if you, if you were doing painting yourself, like. Yeah, so I'll give that a little while. See, you can just see little lines there, look, just, just pick them out with my. But yeah, so I'll give her, I'll give that 10 minutes and then um, I'll float it over with steel float and that'll be it. So that's it guys, I've uh, gone over it with a steel flow and yeah, so the speed skim, I can't believe to be fair that I've gone all those years without one, it's one of them tools that you buy and you think you'll never, never really use it and then you realise how good they are. Um, I know they do a um, refiner, is it refiner, something like that, they do one, so I don't know which is better, whether it's the ox or the refiner one because this, this is a, I've had this a week to test it, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely going to be using it on every plastering job I do now. So it's nice and nice and flat. Barely, barely took any floating over with steel flow, and I think I'm going to uh, might invest in the other uh, blades for it and try all those out at some point. Maybe the next plastering job that I do. So yeah, that's it, guys. So I will see you in the next one. We'll see what else uh, we're going to get done on this job.